you start your answer with introduction with Harry and Nicholas from G2. And then, so you made it to Porto. There's, however, the game did not go as you guys would want it. So how do you feel right now? Hello everyone, my name is Marcin Jankozjankowski and I play Django for Team G2 Esports. Uh, we just qualified for the quarterfinals, but it didn't really go as we wanted it to be because we uh, left the group as the second seed and not the first one. Griffin outperformed us in the last two games. Uh, I feel pretty bad about it, but at the same time I think we can play better um, in quarterfinals. I think the mistakes we made in the games were the same mistakes we would do in scrims. So it feels like even more of an opportunity to, I guess, learn. I mean, obviously we'll not give up as pro players and we'll just try to make our play better and perform uh, better in quarterfinals. Well, if there anything that you can tell us more specific about the mistakes you mentioned? I think that the mistakes we did were mainly Super and Django. It felt like uh, me and Mickey both were getting caught a lot. I feel like that was mostly it, like uh, Tarzan and uh, Legends were outperforming us a lot. I feel like we would face check and we would die and that would put our team at a disadvantage. I also felt like we didn't really see them lane swapping twice, with did, which did cost us uh, a kill. So I think that Mm, those are uh, some macro mistakes we can fix, but also me and Mickey can play better together so that we they are on the back foot and we can force them to make uh, mistakes. And how was your jungle matchup up against Tarzan today? I think today um, I didn't play very well against Tarzan. I felt like he was out pressuring me and I felt like I didn't really um, see what he would do around the map, especially in the mid game. I felt like also our drafts, um, in especially the second game, was ki quite questionable because I felt like they prepared their Kiana peak better than we did and they knew more about it since um, it seems like Eastern teams overall didn't really ban it compared to the Western teams during uh, playoffs. So I feel like we were less prepared against Kiana than they were and it just feels like both games uh, the travel was kind of hard to play and we would also do mistakes based on that. But I feel like he was for sure playing better than me. I think that it doesn't really matter which team do we face, if it's Chinese team or Korean team, I think both can play equally well and I feel like if we would play like today we would lose anyway, so it, yeah, I don't care who do we face. I think the toughest team to face would be SKT because they did beat Griffin 3-0 and uh, we did just lose to Griffin, so I feel like SKT would be the toughest opponent, but if we face Damon, um, for example, from Group D or FPX from Group B, um, I will still feel really confident and even against SKT I'm really confident because we have a week to fix our mistakes and I feel like the mistakes we did um, are not very hard to fix and I think we can, after rewatching the games and fixing some of the draft mistakes and overall getting more experience uh, about playing some drafts, I feel like we can play better next week and I'm not saying we would win but I think we will for sure play show a better performance against any team that we will f we can face. So, well, the European crowd here is showing great love and support, and you're cheering really loud and hard. So, does that bring you some good impact on the performance? And plus, um, any last message you would like to say? I really like the European crowd has been supportive for all the teams not only for Europe so I'm really happy that they were cheering for everyone mm, and I was really happy that every time uh, we went on stage they were like cheering really hard for us and I'm very sad that we disappointed them uh, in the last two games but I feel like we can still make Europe proud if we make it all the, all the way to the final so I just want to focus on quarters now I think except for that um, I wanted to say thank you to all the fans that are still cheering for us. I feel like uh, we are still a strong team and even though we got really outperformed, I feel like we can still show, show up.